Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Yesterday I found a great way to have a vegetable turn dessert. I'm calling it butternut ice cream and I'm going to show you how to make it. Stay with me. Actually this is a very simple recipe. There's not a lot to it. Very easy and quick to do. I'm starting out with some mashed roasted butternut squash that I froze. I have one cup of it here that has been partially thawed. And I'm going to put it in a strong blender that I have. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of, of ground cinnamon, that's all. You want to add a sweetener, of course, of your choice. I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of straight stevia powder. And you don't have to use stevia, you can use whatever you want, sugar, brown sugar, honey, agave nectar, sweet and low, whatever. And then we're going to add milk of choice. I've got unsweetened almond milk here. And just enough to make this where it's going to blend up, where it's going to be thick but smooth, like the texture of an ice cream. And I'd say anywhere between a third and a half a cup, no more than, no more than that. And I'm going to blend just a little bit at a time. I have a half a cup in my measuring cup, but I'm going to blend just a little bit at a time and just add it until it's the consistency I want. Stay with me. I'll show you what this looks like when it's all done. It's like a butternut ice cream, and it's a spoonable dessert, not one that you drink because it's too thick for that. I topped it with a little whipped cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon, and oh, it's yummy. Let me know if you try it and let me know if this works for you in the comments below. Check out my website, handmadeiniowa.com, and also my blog, judyclee.com. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Have a great day.